man. Oh, man. Come on, bro. It's a new decade. Feels relaxing, though. That's right, what's up? All right. started with the news come on man what am i about to say like that's right you know you likey thumbs up do it all right bro i'm starting to get more and more confident in metroid prime 4 because it's been a little bit development limbo for the game first uh, another studio is working on it. Nintendo didn't like it. There's like, let's give it back to Retro. Or we don't know, Retro probably pitched the idea. It's like, whoa, we could do a whole lot better. And so, long story short, um, Retro Studios is working on Metroid Prime 4. Breaking news. And this is why I think this breaking news is directly related to this game. Hear me out. New report. Is saying that the lead designer of the Donkey Kong Country Tropical of Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze, Stephen Dupree, has returned to Retro Studios after a two-year hiatus from the studio. Now, the natural inclination would to be would to say, you know what? Nintendo's probably working on a new DK game. Which, don't get me wrong, if that's in fact what they're doing i would be hyped i like the donkey kong country tropical freeze um, not the tropical freeze but the series donkey kong country tropical freeze is just one of the games but i like uh the donkey kong country games some of the best 2d platformers ever but this article comicbook.com um is also pointing out Retro Studios is not known to be a um, two-project studio, meaning typically when Retro Studios is hiring developers, recruiting, and working on a game, they're focusing their attention on that one game. And we know Donkey Kong is just speculative. We don't know whether or not they're starting a game, but we know for sure Retro Studios is working on Metroid Prime 4. So, all signs are pointing to this um, homeboy, Stephen Dupree, coming back to help in development for Metroid Prime 4. reason why I say uh, Retro Studios, the article has already um, said it, but I agree that they are a one-game one development studio for years. The only game Nintendo had them working on was Donkey Kong Country Games for a good six-year run. That's it. And that's all they gave us. I remember there was one time, it wasn't, wasn't it Retro who did that strategy game on the 3DS or something at once? But they typically focus all their attention on one game. And the fact that they got the lead designer means that this is someone with experience and software knowledge bro donkey kong has some of the best environments and just creativity and level designs and so um having dupree back in the studios he can share his expertise his creativity and his um knowledge to help with metroid prime 4. This is the game I want. And so Nintendo, Retro, they're already, Nintendo's already behind the ball with um, their scheduling with Metroid Prime um, 4. There's no way Nintendo's going to start another project 
with this major project still in the works. So I really think all of Retro's resources are going into giving us a great Metroid game. Let's go, man. This is my most anticipated game for the Switch. I'm hoping they have add an online multiplayer element to it. We had it with um, that the DS game, Metroid Prime Hunters. I think this could be Nintendo's Overwatch, bro. I've said it a million times. The different bounty hunters, remember Metroid Prime 3? All the different bounty hunters had different abilities. Bro, perfect perfect for online multiplayer and so we'll have to wait and see but good news for retro studios and nintendo and fans we got talent in house because even if he's working on a donkey kong game which i doubt he's all, he's peeking over that's how y'all got the leaves looking bro let me help y'all with some leaves bro he's working on leaves Metro. all right next news item Super Smash Brothers DLC 5 Character 5 is imminent. A Twitter user, Anon 12345, he's discovered that we can now individually purchase DLC character number 5 is now up for purchase on the eShop. Before this video, I went and checked, and it is in fact up for purchase meaning we're getting even closer to dlc number five now nintendo's already said by the end of february dlc fighter is coming right now it has a placeholder date on the eShop of february 29th that's the last day in february so they got to but it's happening it's happening and it's getting even closer now that you could actually pre-purchase the fighter. Who do you want it to be? Sound off in the comment section. I want to know. But we're not done yet. No bro yet. Bro, I found this a little interesting and telling. And the reason why I've been on Nintendo, bro, is that they could do better. An NPD analyst, Matt Pascali, I probably butchered his name. He has done research and found that. Over 40% of PlayStation of Elf Nintendo Switch owners own a PlayStation 4 and or an Xbox One saying that the Switch is a supplemental console and not um it's a supplemental console for many Switch owners. 40%? That's a high number, and I know why. Third party games, a lot of them are inferior. Most of them are inferior on the Switch, forcing you in many instances to almost buy um, a or play on another console. Dudes who know, who run with me, um, um, play on the Switch. I love NBA 2K20, bro. And so because I'm a Nintendo fan, I play it on the Switch. But they had an update, a, a winter update. And the lag was just driving me crazy, forcing me to go back to my Xbox. I'm back on the Switch now, so I'm still running 2K on the Switch. But I can see why. And the need for a Switch Pro. Switch Pro. The rumors are saying 2020, we're getting a Switch Pro. Bro, this is my frustration with Nintendo, bro. I was there with the NES. I was there with a Super Nintendo as a kid. Bro, Nintendo had the best first party games, which I still think they do. They still keep in the first party on lock. But they also had the best looking at performing third party games. Blast processing was fake. I'm a Sega Genesis kid. I, I'm looking at my 32X Sega CD, six button Genesis controller right now, bro. I played on my 32X just as much as I did my, my not my 32X, <laughs> oh, only like 14 games. Um, my Genesis as much as I did my Super Nintendo. But the Super Nintendo was was more powerful. Nintendo had the most powerful console on the market. Boom, most popular because they sell the TurboGrafx-16 and all the other stuff. But as far as popularity, the Super Nintendo went for the juggler with power. Nintendo, don't allow. I want to, 
I just buy my Nintendo console and I'm good. I don't need to be tempted to peek over. Oh man, this game is looking a whole lot better on my Xbox and I had to play my Xbox. Nintendo, give us that power. Give us that pro power. All right. And the last news item for this video, I thought that this was also interesting. Nintendo president talks about, you know what? I'm going to leave this. I'm going to leave the last item. See, I'll, be, I'll, be, I'll do this stuff on the fly, bro. We got a video for tomorrow. I'm going to hit y'all with it tomorrow. Because um, it's going to take, it's, this is a whole other video. I need to talk about this. All right, dudes. What do you guys think about everything we discussed? Fix the J's? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things Nin 10. Go. We out, boy. You're still watching this video? That means you like me. You really like me. I gotta hook you up. That's right. We're having monthly giveaways. $60 eShop codes for your Nintendo Switch. You can choose any game of your choice. How do you enter? One, subscribe. Make sure you're subscribed to this fire. Two, make sure you're following me on Twitter at Obi One Plays, and that's it. You're in for our monthly giveaways. But that's not it. It gets even better. Do you want to game with your boy every day? Do you want to join our private Nintendo Switch Gaming Discord? Become a member. Three ways to join. One, through YouTube. There's a join button right below this video. It's two, through Twitch. Twitch Prime, you can do it for free or just subscribe through Twitch. And number three, the third way to join, patreon.com backslash obi one plays you'll thank me later also check out the swag bro links are in the description see you later peace